What's going on everybody? This is Jay Breeze from JB Music and I'm here live with TATV. Get to know me. Is this filming right now? Yeah, because like, I got to make sure. You could just cut all that out right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jay Breeze, I feel, is like another side of me where I could just get away from reality and just go in the studio and just get anything off of my chest in like a musical format without being interrupted in like a peaceful environment. My style of music, um, well, the best way to talk about that is I gotta feel a beat. Like I could go, I could search through, cut that. I could search through a couple hundred beats and crazily, I can't feel none of it. So when I finally come across something and I just feel like this is the one, I gotta make something to this because as you heard on a lot of my songs, a lot of my beats, you could just feel, I, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it makes me feel a certain way. It just makes me feel good. And I'm like, I gotta write something like mellow to this or like pumped up to this. But uh, usually if, if I feel it, well, I'm not gonna say everybody's gonna feel it, but I have a good feeling that a lot might feel it, like maybe I do. So hopefully that answers that. Before I started rapping, I used to want to be a DJ. And I used to listen to the radio and record stuff on cassette tapes. <clears throat> and I used to do my own countdowns and stuff and uh, act like the radio DJ. And um, it turned into uh, maybe around, as far as I can remember back, when Dr. Dre came out with The Chronic 2001 after a couple months, I found Dr. Dre 2001 Instrumentals Only. And I messed around with that for a, probably a solid year. And started, I'm so deep into this, I forgot the question. <laughs> anyway, going with all that, it takes it way back to Dr. Dre, Eminem, the whole West Coast, Snoop, Ice Cube. I'm, a, I'm really, I love the 90s style. So in a lot of my stuff, you might hear that kind of style because that's always been my favorite 90s hip hop. So almost anything, like I like E-40. I remember Bone, I heard fifth grade. I remember I was living in Cleveland on the East 51st Street. I rapped about that in um, Make Your Name Something. So way back in fifth grade with Bone, definitely. I love them. And uh, Definitely Tupac back in the day. I like that. Who hasn't? Anybody talks about him. Um, that's. I mean, I could go on. I'm trying to like. I don't want like a 20 minute answer, so that's about that. I was just thinking about that earlier. I would. I would. I'd like. I never really got into MGK until he just dropped that uh, Hotel Diablo. But I, ever since I listened to that, I felt on with everything on there, and I wouldn't mind making a track with him. And. Uh, and Rihanna, I really like her voice. And NF, but he don't seem like the type to really collaborate. And that's uh, maybe uh, maybe Twista. That would be pretty crazy. I never really thought about that. Producers. I never really gave that any thought. I like to do all of them. My favorite thing to do would be I would probably put it in the order of making the songs, music videos, and then performing live. Sometimes it really gets to me, and there's days where I feel like I suck, and I'm never gonna make it. And then there's other days where I feel like success is could be tomorrow. So my, my feelings for this is like all over the place. Probably the UK, New York, or Cleveland, or Los Angeles, just because they're so big. Uh, Feel the Noise, I think that's the name of it. It was an Omarion movie. And 
Eight Mile, of course, and um, Death Sentence, 40-Year-Old Virgin, any Adam Sandler stuff. I've never really been into comic books. But uh, if I was to think of, like, Marvel-type movies, and if I turned it into that, I would probably want to be... It's probably Spider-Man. That'd be fun. Pretty much just... I like to work on things. Like, when I was a kid, I always liked to take things apart and put it back together. But it never got put back together, so I'm not looking mad. But other than that, nowadays, all I do, other than the music stuff, is I always keep up on the maintenance of my fish aquarium, which is a day, almost a day-to-day -day basis. A lot more music and music videos and possibly performing live. Yeah, I actually am working on the presentation and I've been releasing the songs one at a time. So, because I don't have patience to sit on my songs. Like once they're done, I like to just get them out. Plus it also gives the songs like individual attention. But at people that are just discovering me, uh, you might feel me, you might not, but give me a chance because things grow on you and you might throw away something that you could, could turn into something that you love. I'll say what's up to my kids, Grayson, Mason, my wife, Alicia, and thank God for everything, and Mystery, and Paul, You see rap ain't a regular job. I'm gonna need a map, I'm a little bit lost. My friends keep telling me how good that I got, but when I hit them up for help, I never get a response. But there's no hardship. I'm gonna keep coming out with lyrical content, regardless of nonsense. Putting out music for free and not making no profit. Guarantee that you'll hear a lot from me though, cause I'm constantly coming out with lots of notes. And I'm learning new things that I need to know, like some of these contracts go for your throat. Sorry, not sorry for the low blow. I've been around since Atari and yo-yos came a long way since passing out my free demos outside of your local Sunokos. Something switched when I don't feel the way that I once did. Way back when I rapped as a young kid. But I never gave up when I pushed through with the passion and the love for it. Now hustle and flow. Always on grind mode. Go for the gusto. Seem to be a lino. Walk in the door and I make them hit the high note. Ain't no joke right there under the Bible. Rap game in the scope with the rifle. We gotta keep it on the low and no bite you. Everybody wanna know how you learn to flow and why you wanna go chill with that white dude. Wait, that white dude, that's me. How you gonna come around this JB? Got it unlocked with the code and the key. You better calm down, get real low like the beat. When it's your turn, I bet you get cold feet. You know you ain't got no flow like these. I'm super incredible, born in original. Try to study him, but it isn't predictable. Rhymes will go through him, but he is invisible. Make it look easy, but it isn't difficult. Rhyming the words with the multiple syllables, sipping on the cold. Fifth or the Red Bull, where is my pencil? <laughs> <laughs>